Isn't that adorable? This is my table runner for Valentine's Day. I totally adore it. Welcome to my channel. And good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning to you. I sing that to my chickens and ducks every morning. Yes, yeah, some are crazy nuts. So it is February 1st already. Can you believe it? Yeah, I can't believe it. But anywho, February 1st, it is about 7.53 and I have the devotion. Um, this is a prayer a day um, hope and for hope and encouragement. Um, let me save my place right here on February. I'll tell you who actually wrote. Give some credit to credit or credit still. It's by Dayspring. Let's see. Live your faith, it says. I guess it, oh, published by Dayspring. So, <clears throat> you can get this book probably anywhere. Um, I got it at Walmart. I'm talking low because my daughter and, and her daughter are still sleeping. So, February means love. I love this book. Something tangible in your hand is always better than looking online. Looking online is good too, but anyhow. So let's get to it. Let's see if you can see it. The fullness of his love. I want you to know all about Christ's love. Although it is too wonderful to be measured, then your lives will be filled with all that God is. So that means like telling somebody about Christ's love, even though it's too wonderful to be measured, once you know about Christ's love, your lives will be filled with all that God is. That is what that means. And they took that from the CEV version, which I'm not even sure what version that is. I usually go by the New King James Version, and I might edit this later and put that in the description or something. So the prayer today is, this is guided prayers, obviously. Um, Father, you are greater than life. No other source of love has filled my heart, soul, and mind the way yours has. It is so great, I cannot comprehend it all. And I know your love is sincere and eternal as it points to Jesus' death on the cross for me. I am forever grateful for your sacrificial love. Amen. That's a good prayer. So that's February 1st. Prayer and reading for the day. And just a little recap of my table setting. I can't show you the whole thing because I have a centerpiece in the middle. Thank you for watching, as always, and have a wonderful God-filled day. May God bless and keep you and yours. Bye-bye.